Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Hi guys. How you doing? <laughs> How are you? Okay, it's How's real. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> For a moment I thought, you know, we're playing a game. Ah, me too. You I, thought so too. I, I, was, I, was, I was also in confusion, but I think it's happening. Okay, it is happening. How, How was you your weekend? Oh uh, man, okay. I I practically slept just last night, so that's how I, I think that oh, explains wow. the weekend. Oh wow. Okay. Had fun. Oh my mouth, I didn't go anywhere, I just stayed at home. And the whole time. The whole time. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I swear. Oh wow. But you went out on some tuition class. What National is your City? own? What is your I'm own? Lying. Is it your talk? No, you went out. Let me talk my talk. Leave me. So I you're didn't lying. Go out. Why are you lying? Wait, I don't um classify going to the movies as going out to me. Ah. I don't see it as mm. going out. That is just normal every day. When I say see, I, I, I went mean, out, I, I went out. You. What is your own? If I focus on your focus, you I see what's you going out to you. Like. Thank you. Going out, um, maybe a pool party or something big. But going to the cinema is not going out to me. My own, my own words. Okay, so you're not out. in your house two for seven. You went out of your house. Yes. Okay. Even if I go to my neighbor's house, I ask <laughs> me, where are you? I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> me. Am I not yeah. out? Okay. I mean, the weekend was nice. I feel like I only started feeling the weekend vibe on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Like, and then they were like, let's work tomorrow. I'm like, how? I really need to start protesting. Weekend has become longer because mm -hmm. what's that? Like four days. If yeah, you had some Mondays. You know. At least a day for mm -hmm. you to recover from the weekend. <laughs> you know. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you should. But anyway, I hope the viewers had a good weekend and we hope that this week is going to be really good. We're getting closer and closer to Christmas. So that's, that's always yeah. also, also a plus. But let's jump into the first story of, okay. you know, the day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nigerian singer and songwriter Omale has finally spoken out about he you know, that he was arrested in Uganda mm -hmm. uh, by the police force for his participation at a concert. Recall that it was reported, I think a few days ago, um, that Uganda, because of his appearance at the concert, the country dis the country was already undergoing like serious COVID-19 mm -hmm. pandemic um, regulations. So obviously mm -hmm. they broke that. His arrest follows a, followed a public outcry by Ugandan entertainers who castigated the police for allowing international artists to hold concerts while the local ones are denied. Mm -hmm. So obviously there was already a problem going on before Malay stepped in. Speaking via a post on his official Twitter account, this is Omale, he confirmed that he is indeed with the Ugandan police force, but that according to Omale, according to Omale, all things are well and that the issues will soon be sorted out. He went out to urge all the fans not to be afraid of what is about to come and that he noted that things would be fine. Okay. Um, first of all, I have to say it was quite irresponsible on Omale's part to go mm. to Uganda. Like, even though we try to um, pretend that it doesn't exist, COVID-19 is still outside and mm. it's quite rampant all, all over the country. Even some, I heard some countries are even on their second um, lockdown mm. due to the coronavirus. So you going to um, Uganda, why can't you just make the concert um, virtual? Like, you, you said, yes, instead of going all the way to Uganda, you can just make it um, virtual. Because this experience concert I just passed, it was virtual and, and it, it was went nice. perfectly it was well. Really nice. So I don't see the point of you going all the way to Uganda for this concert, despite the, the pandemic. The point is the money, girl. Mm. The money. First off, Ew, first wait, off. wait, let me finish Who my... Uh, yeah, her land, Let me land. land thank land, you. Land, uh -uh. Yeah. So, but I don't support um, the Uganda police arresting right. Mali. I feel they should have arrested the organizers mm. of the event because right. Mali didn't invite himself. He right. went to upon the invitation. So yeah. he shouldn't have been arrested. The organizers yeah, okay. should be arrested. Right. I don't know. No, no, I feel like you're talking for me and you're speaking for no, me. No, she's not. She, I, she's just mm. not trying no. to give anyone no, slack. Everyone that, has a responsibility. Thank you, everyone. To play, yeah. yeah, they both have faults to me. Yeah. Yes. I feel you. The money, like she said, mm. <laughs> that's all. Yeah. And then, secondly, I think it's on the what's it called now organizers to make sure about the safety to ensure the okay. safety of um, everybody. So, if I've spoken, I'm, I'm an artist, you want me to come to Uganda to come and perform, aside the money, I think I'll ask necessary questions. You don't have that information, you're not privy to that information. Okay. Whether you ask the nice necessary question, are we safe? Are, they, are we are, what, 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 what safety measures are you guys going to put? If they ensured all of that, you can't call them irresponsible because we see people still traveling. We mm -hmm. see people going for pleasure these days. So why will you tell me that it's irresponsible for me to go put food on my table? 
Do you understand? But Especially when I follow due protocol. The question is, what why do you stop the uh, artist in what Uganda? What due protocol are you following if you're going social to have a concert? Social distancing, wearing a mask. If you're going to have a concert, yeah, they know that the concert... There's social distancing concerts everywhere these days. Okay. That they space out the seats. This is not a seat. This is outside with a crowd, and there was no social distancing. Yeah. So Oli cannot act naive. Come mm -hmm. on. There is still. Uh, is it, I'm even if when I ask the necessary questions and they don't do it, it's on them. The fact that I asked, that's my responsibility. That's the only responsibility my I own. Question I don't is agree why did they that. invite you and they, didn't, um, they don't allow their own artists perform? That's their conscience. I think, I think uh, you know, even before the story, mm -hmm. uh, before you got your opinion, I didn't really see, um, you know, or Malay's fault in it per se. But mm -hmm. when you said what you said, it actually makes sense because I think um, we cannot all pretend to be tone deaf. Coronavirus is still out there. Mm -hmm. Even when they say social distancing and all of that, you still have a responsibility to say, oh, I'm not going to go there because okay. it's too risky. Social distancing does not mean that you cannot actually get, get the, the virus. virus. And you know how concerts are. Omale is not new to concerts. He knows how it is. He knows mm -hmm. what's sold out. How do you genuinely want to keep social distancing with a crowd of over a thousand people? When you start to hear things like that, you know the possibilities of people losing that social distance that you might have tried to install mm -hmm. and then get closer to have a good time mm -hmm. because that's why you went there. Um, globally, there has been a lot of um, um, outcry to artists who either promote concerts like this that would obviously put people at risk mm -hmm. or they you know they backlash and um, politicians who don't who don't keep measures in place for people to be safe and all of that so yes it is your responsibility mm -hmm. as a citizen of the world to make sure that you're not part of the of the problem if that makes mm -hmm. sense and once you Don't go and have virus. a concert that's mm -hmm. big you are definitely part of the problem because you know that there is a chance that the virus could spread right. period mm -hmm. but um in regards to the 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 organizers i mm -hmm. do have to agree with you fair in the sense that the organizers should be the ones and you also said the same thing actually mm -hmm. that the organizers should be the ones who are held responsible really for what's going on um i don't know how it works i don't know if it's that people don't speak to each other because i know that there was a story like that with naramali who went to abuja mm -hmm. and there was a concern it kind of made me a bit confused when they closed down the mall because i would think that everybody is in contact with each other so even before the day of the event you already know that this event is going to happen, happen here yeah. and this is what i've, mm -hmm. I've done i've gotten the approval for that it seems like they will now have the event to everything that not happened then, then you now come and say oh yes. actually mm -hmm. this is not allowed and you, you must be castigated for that but there are posters on the social mm -hmm. media it wasn't a it wasn't a cult event it wasn't like some private thing in the back that's the question yeah. i just asked the police like before the event took place didn't they hear about it mm -hmm. they didn't it was going to occur so why are why arrest normally when it yes and like the people who were even agreeing to mm -hmm. book the hall or book the space and all of that why are you accepting when it's not even legally allowed in your country like you have not been able to accept for any other person mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you're accepting for uh, <sighs> it did not make sense Oluwa, now you're comforting me and that's exactly what he said mm -hmm. so i'm guessing that he'll be comforted thames is also part of this story she also mm -hmm. went there and was also arrested with her mm -hmm. manager Muiwa. so we have two people there. I, 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 it's, unfo it's unfortunate. People, I guess, right? It is unfortunate. Oh, for Thames, she's not irresponsible. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't think so? Hmm? You don't think Thames is? I think so too. Yes, no. I'm not taking my words back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She loves Thames, that's why. I <laughs> do, but that doesn't mean I won't call her out when she's wrong. Mm. Talk, mm. Your, talk your stuff. Talk, your stuff, talk, your, stuff, talk your stuff. Talk your stuff. Mm -hmm. She just called you responsible. She's not a fan. In this situation. Yes, it's mm -hmm. okay. You can please, be irresponsible. Please. Thames is not supposed to be perfect, are they? <laughs> Moving on, Nigerian mm -hmm. singer Shion Kuti has denied allegations that he pulled a gun at party goers. <sighs> Nigerian singer Shokuti has denied allegations that he pulled a gun at party goers who parked their cars in front of his house. Rather, he slapped them for making noise and provoking him. That's his words, not mine. This comes after journalist Temitayo Adeto to pointed accusing fingers at Shimukuti for pulling out a gun in the middle of a melee over parking space in his area at Ikeja. In a video he posted on his Instagram page, Shimukuti said that he was trying to leave the area because of the noise. He then realized that the party folks had blocked the road with their cars, and when he asked them to move the cars, one of the bouncers walked to him and threatened him. Please take a look for yourself. What happened yesterday? Now, right in front of me, you see, this is why I hate all these investors. So a woman came to invest here. They didn't even notify me, no letter to any of the people on there. I didn't see any letter, no. They started their party at 9 a.m. 
I've never seen such a thing before in my life. They were making noise from 9 a.m. 6.30 p.m. 7 p.m. Now I want to go out because of them. I want to leave the house because I can't do anything in my house. I have to leave the house. Okay, let me go out. I open my gate. These people, they have blocked my gate. Move your car. You know what that first one tell me? He say, eh, 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 she, eh, what did you, eh, this is what he not follow me now, I can't, I first give that one slap, straight, boy, move your car. As I was waiting in my car, oh, the bouncer now came to meet me and threatened my life. He said, no, you be shown kuti, me and the come shy, where would they come find you? Why did they tweet that? So I let him go and come and kill me. That's when the fight started. And we didn't need to pull guns on anybody. Because we beat them with our bare hands. Both of their nose, tear all their uniform. Now naked in a shot because they take escape from off our streets. Yeah, they were gunshots because men did. Men did. Even if the federal government come for me, they don't bring arrest warrants. If they don't bring arrest warrants, bring judge sign, say, they'll say, dear chairman, I want to see you director. Now shoot out. I'm saying it now for the whole world to hear. They have to come to my house with arrest warrant. Men day. Ah, it's the men day for me. <laughs> I felt that. Hmm. Okay. But what do you guys think though, basically? <laughs> what Wait. do you think? Like, what do you, I'm sure since you've been back in Nigeria, you must have experienced some um, inconvenience because of people that want to have their parties, right? So what's your take on that? Uh, we obviously have a very twisted bias to noise pollution in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If it's a party, it's like, oh my gosh, it's the worst thing that could ever happen. But if it's church, then it's like, just allow them, please. Mm -hmm. um, Churches don't block the streets eh? to have parties. Eh? No, no. <laughs> they, I mean, they don't, they don't put canopies in the middle of if a motor road. They churches? They churches? They churches? do. They do. Mm -hmm. I've never seen it though. They do. You say they you have, have do. They all, nah. the pastor they is having traffic. a... What's this thing that the... I don't want to mention the church now because mm -hmm. I don't want to demonize them. It's not okay. just them that do it. But they have this Wednesday thing that they do. Though the church is really far, they now have cell groups all around. I think you already know the church I'm talking about. They have cell groups all around in people's houses and then you view or whatever. If you don't, if you're unlucky and you're with the famous pastor that everybody likes and everybody goes to his cell, they literally block the whole thing. When you, when it's time for praise and worship, the whole street is hearing their praise and worship and all of that. It's really unacceptable. I don't get it. Mm -hmm. um, I really don't care what you are shouting for. Mm -hmm. If it's like, I want to talk to Jesus and you guys want to have a direct conversation mm -hmm. or you want to be partying and you want to have a good time, whatever your reason mm -hmm. is, it's just unacceptable and, un and, and it's not allowed. But in this country, everything goes. So sure. because they're already the inception of, of how um, noise pollution is handled, I don't know how to even start with Shewun Kuti because the authorities don't do it themselves. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, we're back to like fixing the things for ourselves, which is the the... Which is the, um, what's it called, the... No. Yes, exactly. You, the government feels and they have to do it yourself. I yeah. don't know how I can then criticize how you do it yourself because I'm never supposed to be doing it yourself to begin with, so I don't know. Fine, I can understand um, Shion Kuti's anger and rage towards this situation, but I just felt he could have handled it a better way. Mm. Yeah, you're a media personality. I think you should... Is it a media no, person? Media okay, sorry. Um, give me the perfect word. Yeah, a celebrity. Yes, yes. Let me use that word. I don't think you would like that word. Well. <laughs> okay, so celebrity is not enough. Is he a celebrity? He's not. It's Sean Kudu. I don't think Sean Kudu would even come out and say I'm a celebrity. Yeah, I don't he, think wouldn't. he wouldn't. Most wouldn't people wouldn't, but way. you can still you can still categorize him as an, like yeah. a popular face. Okay, a, pop, a popular face. Let's mm. use that word. I feel, I feel like you could have just under the, like, call the estate security, call the police, instead of him... He didn't say he lives in an estate, he said my street. Show okay, street. Okay, <laughs> okay, they don't have um, security in the streets. <laughs> they, they, they do, they do they my no. like, call like, They come out to my level P and we have all lived in streets before. I that. know, but I, mean, I just felt now, he, he should have handled that thing by himself. There are better <laughs> ways you could have handled that thing. Call the police or any, instead of him... And handling that situation by himself, I just felt he could have done it in a different the, the, way. Different people act differently. There are just some people, mm. eh? You cannot. It's, it's like expecting me to act, respond like that, even when I'm supposed to. You know, there's some situations where mm -hmm. you need gra gra. 
I'm, I might just not be capable of doing that because I'm not wired that way. I think you really? also have to put, in, put into context who Shane Kuti is, as in his personality. Okay. At least to, for what he has revealed to us, so I don't know him personally. <laughs> he just seems like the kind of guy... He's woke. Uh, I don't know if I'll use that word. But he's not the kind of guy that does not... He doesn't no, care no, to... Yeah, he doesn't care to even use his face to like be aggressive, if that's yeah. the word. Like, what is aggressive? He doesn't care to use aggression. Like, and not everybody is known for that, but that's who Sheikh Kuti is known for. He's, he's, he's done that even with his, with his method of advocacy. Mm -hmm. He uses, like, a lot of passion and aggression, and, yeah, we would still do NSAs, even when mm -hmm. the government says whatever, whatever. He's always been like that. So to me, it doesn't come out as, as a surprise. Okay. Um, when the lady came out, or I don't know if it's a man now, the journalist who came on Twitter mm -hmm. to say he even assaulted people and he shot at people and all of that, um, I found that that was a bit extreme. Like I have to agree okay. as well, um, but I don't know the the con the the context in which it really really happened because he is saying that the bouncers actually came to threaten him first and then he responded. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how in in what regard or to what degree he was assaulted that or he was um, threatened rather mm -hmm. that he would have needed to maybe gunshots this guy. I think he yeah. he blew at the sky mm -hmm. or you something. Know, said they were gunshots. He, 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 oh, come on, he, he, he said yes they, they were, were gunshots gun gun shot. by mm -hmm. his people but yeah, he did not shoot at people. Uh, so how did the gunshot come out? He said he, of course you don't come to Allen Avenue and you think things won't but go wait, down. No, if I, did he do, shoot okay. the gun like that? It, Personally, did he let go? Okay, him and his people. Mm -hmm. did, was there a bullet that left the gun? Of course, they're okay. they loyalists okay. to Sean Kuti. But don't you feel... That's it, it, was, it, it, was, it was directed okay. at Sean that he shot. He pulled out a gun. They didn't even say he shot. Then they said he pulled out a gun. But he's now telling that, of course, they were gun shot. That he didn't need to pull out a gun. That you will not come to Allen and try nonsense. And then you don't think guns uh -huh. will blaze. I'm not supporting it. I'm just okay. trying to correct it. Um, now, for me... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm of the opinion, I, there's one key word that I took away from the old video. It's a 13 minute long video. Way too long. Yeah. And um, I watched every single thing. And the only thing I could pick out mostly was individualistic people. I think which is what um, he was trying to fight against. Now, when I first started the video, I was like, what? This is the first time Sean Kuti is not making sense to me. Do you get? Then I started listening, and the more I listened, the more it was making sense. Because at one point or the other, we have all been affected by individualistic. That all they think about is themselves. They do not care. They will. They don't care if you are asleep. They know this is your bedroom area, but because that is their backyard, they don't care whether you're home at that point. They don't mind using firewood to cook and choking you to mm -hmm. death in your mm -hmm. own room. You understand? So there are people that are like that. So I think that is where he is coming from, and. Um, when he was talking about investors, he's been living there for 11 years, and I think all his building. I was like, bro, what are you talking about? The investors are allowed. You're beginning to sound like someone that stays in the country that doesn't want no development. Mm -hmm. But now, is it that these investors now, depending on what area, is it a commercial area you're living in? Are you living in a residential area? Now, if it's a residential area and they're bringing businesses, yes, there should be a notification to all the residents right that look we're bringing this we're bringing that it's just and then you are supposed to come together and be like no it's like saying that because you own a property you can open the poultry right next to mm. me do you understand yes that's not there there are places for certain things so i get where Sean is coming from but should he have gotten to the point where people will start mm -hmm. shooting i want you guys to also remember that Sean kuti is not like you said it's not your regular Posh boy. Posh mm -hmm. boy, yeah. So if you try to bring some a little bit of violence, it's probably going to respond with violence. It's mm -hmm. very radical with his thinking as well. Mm -hmm. you, we all know mm -hmm. that Sean is, 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 he believes in, he's like his father. <laughs> Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Like, I think he's the closest to his dad, if you mm -hmm. ask me. Yeah, that he feels like, look, he, he doesn't condone nonsense. And then I see that a lot. But should he have slapped the first person? You should have Andrew this a better should way. Should he have brought out a gun? Should, should he have done the whole they? thing? Well, really? um, you know, some people can be very annoying, you know. The first thing, if I was the one who blocked your gate for 20 minutes, right? And then some people have low self-esteem. So first thing I'll do, I'm so sorry, bro. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And I get, I don't care who you are. But some other people who have low self-esteem, the fact that they see that it's shouldn't go to... So now nah, you want to carry face me to an important person. I'm mm. an important person. You understand? So such... 
like a desical attitude can make one cringe. Do you understand? Mm. And then instead of me to the way you reacted to me is the way I would show it. Show didn't say that he got there, and as soon as the guy came, he slapped him. Mm -mm. Do you understand? Now the way, what in what manner did you approach your vehicle? In what manner did you speak to the person that has been waiting for you for twenty minutes? In what manner? After I even complained, did you react? The okay. fact that he had every right to be angry. He was in his house. Mm. You did not have a right to be angry. Mm. Do you understand? So you cannot come and start saying, Kilo Shele Gong. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, For my but then we don't even know how he also I'm Also how, how she won't. But she was going to say, what is going on in him? I mean, I'll be like, fam, if you don't even freaking relax. Their tires you. Before you. Yeah, that's yeah. the yeah. way he approached but, them. But, that's why they make like that. All of that didn't come into play because... They, it didn't say like it's not like they had the deflated tar, they had the battered car. Because I would have even thought that ah man, when he said he was waiting for twenty, I said ah, that car fit. You see, go. because honestly, even when when I watched the video, the beginning part where he felt like he was ranting, I mm -hmm. felt like he was ranting as well. And my theory is that because he was trying to um, dispute his not dispute, but like kind of like Show his no dance. cover over mm -hmm. quickly his own parts like mm -hmm. eh, eh, shall, eh, eh, but anyway you, you make did noise this, uh -huh. eh, and then you see you uh, that's how it kind of went Excuses. for me yeah sort of like, and that's why the beginning part was a bit of a rambling you cannot tell me that that, that guy didn't have any faults and he too doesn't know that he had faults yes you have I, I always just say this every time every every time we have, we have an issue like my friends and I or myself I'm always telling myself for other people if you know that you're 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 the victim here. Mm -hmm. Just relax. Make sure that the method in which you go and say that I'm the victim is important because in the minute you maybe do it in a wrong way or you're rude, everybody forgets what is actually paining you. It's not, mm -hmm. eh, why do you say it like that? Eh, you are mm -hmm. so rude. Eh. And that's the same thing with with what's his name, Shewo. I think even though he might had a he might have had a right to his anger, mm -hmm. you know, it's my house and there's noise pollution and all that. If your methods in which you were addressing that was a bit violent, then obviously you, you have a part to play. In the 30 minutes video, there were a lot of ideologies that were spitting in and I like that if I brought it up. I wasn't gonna, I didn't think we, want, we wanted to do that because it was, it's too many. Okay. But the, you know, the ideology of gentrification where you go into a neighborhood that's residential mm -hmm. and they start to commercialize it is a, such a big topic that I don't think people really talk about as much and the issues that come with that. We see it a lot more in America where like they want to take over a black community. Mm -hmm. So they start to build expensive um, um, malls and expensive this and then make it re really residential, kicking mm -hmm. people out and further. So now people have to go further and further and further then then you new people come over, come in and take over. Mm -hmm. And you see that, and you see the problem with that is that it's also ripping off history and like, you know, memories of a place and all of that. And they're making more people homeless because mm -hmm. then it's harder to find another uh, another place to go mm -hmm. to. So, I mean, the, the, that conversation that he brought up was so intelligent and so deep that <laughs> even the way he just casually said, I'm like, bro, like my head is hurting now trying to even just fathom everything that he was saying but i still think you should have apologized in that video for me the video was not long enough because it didn't have an apology and i kind of lost a bit of respect for him for that like you should be able to say i mean yeah you are who you are and all of that but i think what you were trying to say earlier as well is that he is uh, maybe not even celebrity, but he's a role model. Like, mm -hmm. this is somebody that people look up to. And he knows like, that. Yes. He knows that people look up to him. There's nothing wrong with, you know, lowering your pride and just saying, listen, I'm really upset by, by this thing. And have your anger, but then say, you know, things got out of hand a little bit. And it didn't have to. Because now you're in the indirectly, world, like, yeah. um, what's it called? You can even still leave it as look. If you try it again, I'll do it again, Thank but I'm you. sorry. Do you understand? No, you're not allowed to say that. No, That's I'm I said can, no, I'm not saying that you should use those words. Right. Like you can insinuate that, look, I'm really sorry, but no, look for another way to yes, say it. You can just apologize, again, you know? I beg. You can just say this thing, like, it's not necessary for me to do that, but, you know, this is what happened, this is what happened. Maybe trying to explain yourself, but then, yeah, like, because it looks happen, like, it looks like, that. when you say men, they, it looks mm. like he was kind of like... Um, Being cocky. No, even just... I, I'm endorsing violence. violence. Yes. 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 That's what it felt mm -hmm. like. Like I'm endorsing it. That's what it is. I'm violent. I'm oh, wait, wait. I think you guys are not getting one. You guys are not getting something. Shonkuti. It's not is, a hoodlum. I don't is, understand. It's about a radical movement. How Shonkuti radical are we talking about? Is, is, he, a, is he a hoodlum? Is he a gangster? <laughs> Shonkuti. Is he a cultist? Shonkuti. For three, like, okay, I'm down for whatever. He's always been like that. He's, He's a cultist. That, he does I'm not, violence. I'm, 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 I
believes that for change to happen, it's not the it's not is is your Malcolm no. X, it's not your Martin Luther. Yeah, but Malcolm X no, no, did not respond to violence with every single mm -hmm. thing. And how many single things has he responded with violence with, apart from this one? This and it's not like not trying to say that that's who she is. It's, it's not what he I'm, is. I'm now. saying that he's okay. Excuse me. Sir, apologize Andy. if you can, please. We okay. believe in your ministry. I could have handled it way better than Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. I'm going to really quick pick, but please do stay tuned. We'll be right back.